Welcome back everyone. It's time for lesson 18, which is all about multiplying a fraction times a whole number. All right, so I'm going to start this video off with a really easy example. I like to kind of start easy and then build my way up. So if I have three times one fourth, I like to say it like this, three groups of one fourth. And then it helps me to realize that it's really just, I'm going to draw one fourth three times. So there's one, here's a second one, and there's three groups of one fourth. And then it's really easy to count up that I have one, two, three fourths. So this equals three fourths. So I'm noticing that if I just take the whole number, 3, and multiply it by the numerator, 1, I get the numerator. And then I just keep the denominator the same. Okay, so here's a little bit more complicated of an example. We've got 6 groups of 2 thirds. So I'm going to try that strategy that is a little quicker than drawing a picture for this one. So 6 times 2 is 12. And then I'm going to keep the same denominator. Now in this case, my answer is an improper fraction. Improper fraction. So that means that the numerator is bigger than the denominator. To, so to simplify this, we need to think about thirds. So how many thirds make up one whole? Great, three. So if I count by threes, I've got three are one whole, then six are two holes, nine are three, and 12 are four holes. So my answer, and I can also think about it this way, 12 divided by three is four whole. So four is my answer. Okay, now I want you to pause the video and see if you can try this five whole times one-fourth. Or you can think about it like this, five groups of one-fourth. Okay, let's see how you did. So I like to take the whole number, five, times the numerator, one, and I get five. And then I keep the same denominator. But again, I get an improper fraction. So I need to think about fourths and how many of them equal one whole. Okay, great, four of them equal, you know, four fourths equal one whole. So if I have five, I just have one more. So I could say I have one whole with those four fourths and then one fourth left over. So one and one fourth is the answer and that is called a mixed number when we have a whole number and a fraction. So this is an improper fraction. This is a mixed number. All right, here's another example for us. So we have one half times five. We can do the same strategy when they're flip, when the fraction is here as we did at the other ones. So let's circle the five. So the whole number times the numerator one which is five, okay, and then keep the same denominator, which is two, and now I've got another improper fraction. So I need to simplify it by turning it into a whole number or a mixed number. So let's think about twos now, or halves. How many halves does it take to make a whole? Okay, great, two. So if I have two halves, that's one whole, Okay, four 
is two. And then five is just one more. So I just have one more half. So the answer is two and one half. Okay, and of course, I have to bring pizza into at least one part of my fraction video. So here we go. Let's say that three people are enjoying pizza and they each eat two eighths of the pizza. So a picture can really help here because we can draw eighths really easily by cutting up the pizza. And then we can start giving the slices away to the three people. So I'm gonna use some different colors just to kind of show the three different people. So here's the first person. They eat two eighths. So we're gonna shade in two of those. Okay, then the next person had two eighths as well. Okay, so there's the second person. And then the third person had two eighths as well. So we'll shade in there too. Okay, and then it's really super easy to find your answer. How much did I shade? Okay, great. I shaded in six eighths. Now, one thing we should take a look at is sometimes our answer can be simplified. Even if it's a proper fraction, you know, the numerator is less than the denominator, so we don't need to worry about changing into a mixed number, but we might still be able to simplify this fraction. So do you see a more simple fraction when you look at this picture? You may see that this picture, I can think about fourths as well. So let me show you. I'm going to darken these lines and then I'm going to show that here two eighths looks like the same as one fourth. And so here is two fourths and then here's three fourths. So let's double check and see if that really works. I always like to look for a pattern just to make sure I'm right. And I did a video on equivalent fractions, so that video might help you too with this skill. But let's take a look. So six divided by two equals three. And let's make sure, what is eight divided by two? Oh good, it equals four. So that works out. Those are equivalent fractions. And three fourths is the simplest form.